Okay, hi everyone, and welcome to another of my Adobe Camera Raw video tutorials. Now, in this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you what I think is a really, really great feature of Adobe Camera Raw. And that is in the sharpening tool. Now, it's not just the sharpening tool itself, but it's the masking feature within the sharpening tool, which is really, really useful. And there's also a shortcut, uh, a feature which many of you might not know about, which really, really helps when setting this uh, or when using this masking slider. OK, now, typically, when we sharpen an image, if we apply sharpening to uh, the whole of the image, then everything gets sharpened. Now, this is particularly a problem when you have a lot of sky in your image or if you have any sky at all in your image. Now, if we zoom in close to the sky here, now, if we apply lots of sharpening to our image, you can see the sky looks really nasty and pixelated and grainy. Now, we may have sharpened the airplane really, really nicely. And when you look at it like this, the airplane is probably a little over sharp, but it doesn't look so bad. But when we look at the sky, it's done a, it's made a really nasty effect to the sky itself. So how do we apply more sharpening to the airplane and a, avoid over sharpening our skies? Well, we use the masking tool. Now, let's reset that, take it down to 25 for now. Okay, now down here at the very bottom is our masking tool. Now we can slide our masking tool and what that does, it will mask off areas within your image so that you don't apply sharpening. So it's a bit like if you've ever done any, if you've ever painted your house, when you don't want to paint your skirting boards or the ceiling itself, you put the masking tape over so that the paint doesn't go over the skirting boards over these areas that you don't want to paint. And this is very much the same. What you do is you mask off parts of your image so we don't sharpen those areas and we only sharpen the areas that are not masked. Now, you can slide the masking tool up and down between zero and 100%, of course. But how do you know where the masking has been applied? Well, that's the trick. If, if we slide our masking tool and we hold down the Alt key, we can see the areas that have been masked. The black areas are masked and the white areas are unmasked. So in an image like this, we can select where we want to apply the sharpening. So this really gives us a much better idea of what parts of the image we are masking and what parts of the image remain unmasked. So if we pull this up to about here, 50%, now we can see we've got lovely uh, white lines all around the edges of our airplane. And pretty much all of the sky is black. So that means that the sky will not be sharpened at all. And just the edges, the contours uh, of this airplane will be sharpened. So if we release that, so if we say 50% masking is ideal, if we come in, zoom in, and now start applying more sharpening, now you can see, if we, put, if we back that up to 100%, now we can see that the sky remains really nice and smooth. If we turn off that masking, see the difference. Nasty, nasty artifacts in our sky. Put it back up to 50%, we've removed that. But we've still sharpened our airplane nicely. Okay. Another image, in this case, we've got more landscape detail, lots of clouds in the sky. So same again, hold down the Alt key, pull up the 
masking now I can just see you know I can pull it right the way this way but in this case maybe I want to sharpen the edges of those clouds so I wouldn't want to pull the masking up to 50% in this case if I pull it down to say 25 30 and again I can apply more sharpening overall without over sharpening the sky again if we zero that not a big difference but we can still see if you look very close some artifacts there so pull that back up to about 30 mask off that sky so that we don't sharpen it at all and then we've applied some sharpening to the edges of the clouds and the rest of our scene down here okay so there you have it a really useful tip uh, and a really really great feature to ensure that you don't sharpen or over sharpen your skies or other areas of your image too there could be some areas where you want to apply more sharpening and some areas where you only want to apply a little sharpening like here yeah if I wanted to I can pull it up completely to 100% and just apply a little bit of sharpening around the edges of the church the building and the tops of those trees there so a really really you know I can be really selective here on where I apply my sharpening so a really really great feature of Adobe Camera Raw hope you found this useful and uh, if you did please give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and check out some of my other videos okay so thanks for watching once again and catch you later